Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in for Sagittarius. This is going to be for um, January 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Uh, so we're going to take a look at your, uh, uh, your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know for January. And then we will see uh, what the possible outcome and advice are and what else you need to know. Keep in mind that this could be in anything, love, romance, relationships, uh, family, career, finances, personal development, spiritual development. We'll see what the cards uh, pick up. Um, so keep in mind, uh, you can apply this to your own unique situation, switch the roles if you want. Um, also, uh, this is just a general read, so just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. Before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. Leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. And uh, for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. Alright, Sagittarius. Let's get started. Um, over energies for Sagittarius. What is surrounding Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius need to know? What can Sagittarius expect for January 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What is surrounding Sagittarius for the month of January 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. King of Wands in school. So there you are right there, Sagittarius. Typically that's Leo energy, but it could also be Sag and Aries. So Aries, Leo, Sag. So Sagittarius, you could be dealing with another Sag or Aries or Leo, maybe even the Aquarius with that full card. Um, you can have those energies in your chart too. Let's see. We have a five of swords here and the 10 of wands. You're ready for a new beginning here, uh, Sagittarius, but I feel like you talk yourself out of it, whether you want to release your burdens, your traumas, to have this new start, or, you know, or that you just want to remain where you are right now. So it, it seems like you have some fears about taking the sleep here. Let's see, what else do we have here? I feel like you've been dealing with a lot of trauma here, perhaps some sort of karma too. And I feel like you're ready to release it, but with the Five of Swords, I feel like you might talk yourself out of it. You know, look at that. We have the Devil here, Capricorn Energy, and the Five of Wands. So it's been a constant struggle trying to release this Devil Energy. It's like you're ready for something new, but you're having a hard time, you know, because maybe you've been holding on to this stuff for a very long time. And sometimes when you hold on to it long enough, you start getting used to it. Yes, because it, this is all you know. And, you know, and it's like, you know, when you release it, it's like letting go. It's weird, but it's like letting go of, you know, a friend, you know, something that's in a way, it, it, it's weird, but it's sort of comforting. Uh, to be in that sort of like negative space here with this um, five, uh, uh, with this um, double card. So let's see, we have the page of cups here. Someone here might have a lot of emotional trauma regarding uh, uh, in, in their childhood here. So, I mean, this could be you, this could be someone that you're dealing with. So you could apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, so we have Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, Aries, Aquarius with that full card, and Capricorn. Could be dealing with any of those energies in and around you. You could have those energies too in your chart. Uh, King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? Oh, oh, dropped it. Empress. So Libra, Taurus energy. Could be dealing with a Libra or Taurus. You might have those energies in your chart. Someone here has maybe has parental issues, parental, um, parent issues, <sighs> like uh, mom, mommy or daddy issues or something like that. Or you could be viewing someone as an empress here. So maybe you're viewing someone here that you know that has been very supportive and nurturing in your life here. Um, 
So I feel like maybe you have someone that you turn to for advice, for comfort here. Um, someone here who is a grounding energy for you. Uh, the Fool. Cool. The Fool and the Five of Pentacles. There's a fear of taking a leap here. There's a fear of releasing and letting go. Like I said, uh, when you hold on to this negative energy, energy long enough, it does become like a, a blanket. Uh, you know, a comfort blanket. Uh, five of Swords. Whoa, Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. So Sagittarius, you're going through these big emotional upheavals here. Emotionally, mentally, um, it seems like, you know, there's a disconnect with your emotions and your mind, I feel. Yeah, it, they're not coming into alignment here. You're doing two different things here, I feel. Yeah, so it, it's a bit scattered and a bit inconsistent. So Sagittarius, like I said, uh, you can apply this to your own unique situation. Perhaps this is you, this is someone else. So just take it as it resonates. Ten of Wands here. So Aries, Scorpio energy with that tower. So more Aries energy here. You could be dealing with someone here that has strong Aries in their chart. Or um, you could have some Aries in your chart too. Ten of Wands in the Ace of Wands here. Okay. Devil. Three of Pentacles. I feel like you're trying to work really hard on trying to remove this devil energy that's been surrounding you here because I feel like there's like, like someone here is a bit of a negative Nancy, whoever this is, whoever I'm reading for here. I feel like someone here thinks the worst all the time. I feel like someone here doesn't really enjoy life because they're always on constant fight or flight response. Just very, this, this very defensive energy here. Um, five of, t tell me about this five of wands. Wow, you're definitely going through a huge transformation here, uh, Sag. You're definitely going through this huge transformation, but at the same time, you're fighting it at the same time. You're resisting it. Five of swords here again. Yeah, you talk yourself out of it or you escape to an alternate reality here. So I feel like someone here escapes a lot. Someone here escapes their problems and runs from their problems all the time. It's a very childlike energy. It's sort of like dealing with a child. So maybe you're dealing with a child. You could be the child here. I'm not saying like you're a kid, but you know, emotionally and mentally, you might behave like one or someone that you know behaves like that. Um, Yeah, I just feel like with the Ace of Wands, Ten of Wands, Ace of Wands, we have someone here that wants a fresh start. Completely fresh start. Like, I feel like someone here is sick, sick of feeling this way, but then at the same time, having trouble releasing this blanket, this comfort blanket, basically. Uh, outcome and advice here for Sagittarius for January 2022. What else does uh, Sagittarius need to know regarding your situation here? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for January 2022. We have the King of Wands here again. So there you are. So there is someone here that you turn to. So this could be a friend, you know, a parent, you know, someone here, um, you know, s someone here that you look up to, a friend, an ex, uh, you know, a lover, anyone, okay? So let's see. Strength, Leo energy, could be dealing with a Leo. You might have Leo in your chart. The Chariot and the Nine of Pentacles. You know, I feel like moving forward in January, I feel like you might be making that decision here in moving towards your freedom and your independence here because you've been the prisoner of this devil energy for a very long time, perhaps since you were a child here. Uh, and I feel like someone here lacks a lot of self-love too. And I feel like we have someone here doesn't that doesn't really express their deep hidden emotions here that much. Um, also, I feel like someone here with the Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, um, someone here could be struggling with money too. You know, for the rest of January, that might turn around because you do have this Nine of Pentacles here. I mean, that speaks of success in your career and your money. Just being independent, you know, being by yourself, having your freedom here. You have Judgment and Seven of Wands here. So Sagittarius, that's your energy right there. 
Um, also, that could be Scorpio energy. So I feel like you're going to go through a huge awakening here. Perhaps you're fighting for this yourself. This is what you want. You're defending yourself here. There's definitely going to be a new beginning here, I feel. You know, I feel like you're trying to grow up. I feel like you're trying to mature here because I still feel like someone here has that those inner child wounds and trauma here. So, you know, with this page of, uh, page of swords, you could be learning a lot about yourself right now, taking a lot of information about spiritual growth, uh, personal growth here, and really applying this to your daily life. You know, the thing is you could have all this knowledge you want, you know, but if you're not applying to your life, you know, you're wasting your time just reading about it and looking it up, you know, so it's important when you are doing personal, you know, when you're healing, and, you know, and, 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 you know, taking in these tools, you know, whether you're speaking to a therapist or a spiritual advisor or reading books or reading little memes on Instagram or something like that, you know, if you're not applying it to your life, then you're wasting your time. So... Uh, so, like I said, that could be you, that could be someone else. So just apply the struggle in the situation. No. Um, tell me about this King of Wands here. Tell me about this King of Wands. Why is this King of Wands here? King of Wands. The Fool again. Aries energy. Also Aquarius energy. Strength. Four of Cups, you're taking, you're seizing the opportunity, you're building the courage, you're gaining the courage to let go of this devil energy that you've been holding on to for a very, very, very long time. Chariot, that looks really good, Sag. All right, we have the Empress to the Emperor here. So now this could be speak, this could speak of a partnership or that maybe these are like parental figures. You know, it could be an energy that, you know, you, you might be letting bygones be bygones, you know, letting them be, they're on their own journey. I'm no longer relying on them for, you know, how my experience in life is currently. So it's like, that was the past. Let's move forward here. Um, so maybe you were putting a, putting a lot of blame on your parents or something like that. Nine of Pentacles, we have the star. Aquarius energy. Yeah, you're definitely moving towards your healing here. I feel like you're, uh, I feel like um, moving forward for January, I feel like you're going to be more hopeful about your growth, your expansion here, spiritual and personal judgment. Look, more of your energy here. Yeah, I do feel like you're going to be focusing on your healing. I feel like you're being called to do this and you're doing it. Seven of Wands, King of Swords. So this King of Swords, so um, Sagittarius, you may have some air in your chart, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. So, you know, I feel like there's this energy of like making plans to move forward and really fighting for this, fighting for yourself here. So Sagittarius, yeah, you're definitely being called to make big changes in your life. So Sag, this looks really, really good. If this was helpful, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, guys. Bye.